The subject we're looking at today is science with a year four class and we're specifically focusing in on forces. We have already looked at the vocabulary of forces but are starting to develop our understanding of prediction and making sure we're able to write a clear prediction. We are going to be exploring materials and the equipment needed before developing our predictions and improving them, not only looking at what the children think will happen but also why they think that and linking it to what they already know. We're going to start the lesson with an activity where the children in groups are going to sort materials and equipment by any way they like. After that I want them to zoom in on the idea of friction. We're going to look at force meters and understand how they're used before then applying our knowledge of friction to a range of materials, looking at them with hand lenses to see why some materials have high and low friction. Using this we'd then develop that into a prediction. The children would have a smooth surface where the material, uh, a block would be moved across it before seeing if they can predict what would happen with a, a sandpaper material. Have a look. Have a feel. Yeah. It's got it's got no, it will go smoothly. Okay, what about on the back? I think you could just take that as your two pieces. Well done. How about you? What have you got? So what's this? Sandpaper. So that's quite rough. Have a feel and tell me what you know. Mm -hmm. I know, I know why it would, um, why it's easy to sew because all these bubbles on it and there is really so you basically you turn it over and then it with your hands and it's harder. But if you turn it over, it'll be high friction. It'll be high friction if you turn it over because it's hard. So you said it was easy to move on the other side. So on this side it's oh, oh, yeah, Ali. Higher friction. So in terms of trying to move it, it would be a lot harder, harder to move. You've got your hand lens. Have you looked more closely to see? But you told me it felt rough. Why is it feeling rough? Look more closely. Ah, good, Ali. Well spotted. Make sure both sides of the table are able to look at it. You've been exploring those different materials to see whether they had high or low friction. I was picking out some really good vocabulary in your explanations about what the material is like, especially having looked at it with the hand lenses. So, Rowan, this material you've got in front of you is bubble wrap. Can you tell me whether you feel that's got high friction or low friction? It's low friction, because whenever it's on this side, because it has these bubbles on, it stops it from sliding. And when it is on the flat side, it allows it to force it so forward. Now, almost everything you said was perfect. The only thing that I'm querying is you said the friction is low because it's got the bumps. 